what's up people of the world good morning good evening wherever you are thank you for tuning in to my youtube channel alicia Meller ministry and today i am inviting you to join to us to read in the book of first john chapter one that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled Concerning the word of life, the life was manifested, and we have seen and bear witness, and declare to you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested to us, that which we have seen and heard, we declare to you, that you also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things we write to you, that your joy may be full. This is a message which we have heard from him and declare to you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Amen. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Chapter 2 My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he himself is a propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. Now by this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Brethren, I know no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is a word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining he who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now he who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him but he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the, of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, 
and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist who denies the Father and Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Therefore, let that abide in you which you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you also will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is a promise that he has promised us, eternal life. These things I have written to you concerning those who have tried to deceive you. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. And you do not need that anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you so much for your word. It reminds us here, whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. I am always reminding you, people of the world, John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except Jesus Christ alone. You should accept and acknowledge that apart from Jesus Christ, there is no salvation. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life jesus christ is the only way for us to come back to our father in heaven our only passport to enter into the kingdom of our almighty god the creator of heaven and earth this is your host alicia meller saying have a blessed day to all of you people of the world thank you for tuning in to my youtube channel